top 100,000. And the Department of Health says more than 62,000 of those cases involve people under 44 years old. With the number of cases climbing, it is starting to stress hospitals resources. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live from Northwest Hospital with the demand for ICU beds. Eric. Angelique, today uh, here at Northwest Medical Center, a disaster medical assistance team came here to help out. That's what a spokesperson told me earlier this afternoon. That team includes several ICU nurses as well as a respiratory therapist. Now, one Tucson doctor says the availability of ICU beds in our area can change on a dime as hospitals are stretched to the brink. From hour to hour, every facility is different, um, waxing and waning in terms of the numbers. Emergency room doctor Matt Hines says for a period of time this weekend, it wasn't only Pima County that didn't have available beds or the people to staff them. Over the weekend, not only was Pima County not, uh, there were really no available ICU beds for a period of time in Pima County, it also seemed that there didn't appear to be any available beds um, for, for the surge line early morning on Sunday statewide. From what I could tell, that's the first time that has ever happened. At the moment, Arizona is near 90% ICU capacity. We can create all the physical ICU space that we would ever need. It's much more, do you have the staffing to take care of the patient in that bed? And that's what's really at a premium, and that's why we had uh, I was really pleased to see recently the 500 or so uh, DMAT, the, uh, the emergency medical folks that the Fed sent in to help us here. Having enough skilled doctors and nurses at the ready, a critical concern with a continuous rising number of COVID-19 patients in desperate need. People that need critical care are not being denied critical care. They're still getting the care they need in a somewhat different setting. They're in the ER until they can get to a critical care bed. It's not the way it's supposed to work. We should be getting them to ICU beds as soon as possible. Now with Arizona hospitals nearing capacity, as we mentioned, 90% full, is there a possibility that COVID-19 patients in critical need of care could soon be transferred out of state? That part of our story coming up at six o'clock. We've got you covered live this evening on the Northwest side. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.